what is going on, Senpai Squad? Welcome back to a brand new video, and today we've got the review for chapter 192 of Black Clover, and yet again, for the however many times, like how, how long has this arc been going on for? It, 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 it's been a long time, but I think we're yet to have a, a bad chapter in this arc. You know what? Even... You, this, Maybe this is going to be slightly fanboy of me. Maybe I'm being a little bit biased. Maybe I'm being a bit too much of a Black Clover stand when I say this. But have we had a bad chapter in all 192? I don't know. Maybe that is slightly a, a slight bold claim potentially. But honestly, it's been fantastic again. Tabata went off yet again with the art. I say it every time. Tabata, mate. Like, honestly... I love what you do. I love your art. It's so intense and so raw and it's got so much emotion within it and just everything. It, it, it honestly doesn't surprise me that the, the anime is at times lackluster because Tabata's art is so difficult, I imagine anyway, to actually capture within the anime. There's just something about it, something special about it. But anyway, like I was saying, I, I love what you do, but... I worry for you. I really do because it's so good and we get so many like multiple double page spreads each week and it's like 15 to 17, sometimes maybe even like 20 pages, something like that. Don't overwork yourself, okay? Please, you know. We know you're a member of the Senpai Squad to battle. <laughs> I, I wish. I wish. But anyway, like please just don't overwork yourself. You know, it... it just please, okay? We don't want... Black Clover turning into a Tagashi situation or anything like that now, do we? But anyway, going into the actual contents of the chapter itself, Kaiser, the brand new Purple Orca's captain, we knew absolutely nothing of this guy going into this fight at all. I mean, I was going to make a strongest to weakest or weakest to strongest Magic Knights video a couple months back or maybe like a month ago. I didn't end up doing it because I thought, you know what? I'm not a power scaler. I ain't about that life. It's going to cause way too much controversy. So I stepped away from it. Maybe I can revisit it at some point. And that's what you want to see. But I originally had Kaiser right at the very bottom of the Magic Knights. Purely for the fact that we knew literally nothing other than like his name really but it turns out he's carried on the trend of having super strong super insane annoying to deal with uh, magic affinities magic powers magic abilities whatever you whatever you want to call it but he or at least what you'd imagine anyway there's always these characters where they've got this insane magic power which is so difficult to to deal with and there's always something is going to be better than they always seem to have a common denominator of their biggest weakness being they just can't stop someone who's just purely bought their power up from absolute hard work the asta and the yummy approach if you'd like to call it you know they may be insanely strong you know people like uh william real kaiser you know all of these different people dorothy they're super duper strong their abilities are super annoying to deal with but you know what someone like astro yami someone who's just pure power you know physically boom give them a proper wallop and uh yeah pretty detailed explanation now on how to write a fight you know just uh just put it out there you know maybe i'll leave the fighting choreography to tabata maybe maybe that's the best way to do it anyway but talking of the chapter flashback time some more mario leona i say some more we've very rarely seen any of young mario real leona i don't think if any like it's been very little and it, that just goes to show how amazing she actually is as a character the fact that to be honest when you actually step back and think about it we knew very little about her really we knew bits and bobs from other characters and maybe the odd flashback here and there but she has become an absolute fan favorite and i'm sure there's at least one of you guys watching where Mario Leona is your favourite character in the series, okay? If that is you right now, then let me know in the comment section down below, because I know there's going to be at least one, quite a handful, actually, I'd imagine. And the fact that her character, as, as of right now, is so little fleshed out is just fantastic, because you have to think there's only room for improvement, right? There's no way Tabata's going to ruin her character. I personally trust 
the world to Tabata, I'm, I'm almost certain he won't ruin a character at all. He's been absolutely fantastic in creating enjoyable characters so far. In fact, Black Clover's probably got one of the most enjoyable cast of characters and the best cast of characters going right now in Shonen. So, 100% trust everything to Tabata, you know. Maybe apart from the fights, like I said, I think we've established I am definitely the GOAT fight con contributor, writer, choreographer, whatever you want to call it, you know, that, that's the same part. <laughs> I've got to stop, honestly, seriously, but you know what, maybe I, I'm completely wrong, actually, because I'm saying all that, but talking about the fight with, or the start of the fight between Mario Leona and Veto, and then you've got Fugeleon and Kaiser, the symmetry between those two was absolutely just beautiful between both of them we got to really get an idea of just how close Vogelion and Mario Leona are together they're an absolute beautiful sibling rivalry and relationship between the two of them the, the way that both of them view each other the other one as stronger I mean for a start I guess show how just damn strong Vogelion is and I mean we knew Vogelion was like amazingly strong but we didn't see a great deal of him he's been out of action for the majority of the series really we just kind of got word of ear that we knew how strong he was and the odd bits here and there of how strong he was and now he's obviously got the salamander so he's he's even stronger but mario leona from what we've seen you know her feats she was an absolute monster even the elves themselves you know at points could you even have called her human? And the fact that she's saying, you know, Fuegeleon, you know, he's strong. He can go through me. You've still got Fuegeleon to go through. It just kind of shows how strong he is. And like I said, we knew he was strong. But maybe it's just me looking into those words too much. Too much but they're, it's just, ah, they're so strong, the both of them. And they've got so much possibilities with the story. You know, I, I personally think wholeheartedly that... Fugelion 100% is going to be the new Wizard King. And as for Mario Leona, you would imagine she's going to keep the role as a Magic Knight captain. But maybe they do a switch and, you know, she goes wandering off again. And we won't see her for another, like, maybe 100 chapters. Maybe she'll be one of those badass characters that just keeps popping up here and there throughout the story. I don't think that'll be the case. I don't want that to be the case because I absolutely love the woman. But we'll see what direction they take them. Because their last chapter review, I was talking about what direction will they take characters like Noelle and maybe someone like Finral and all these characters who have been fleshed out a lot in this first saga. But then thinking about it, we've got all these characters like Fugelion's back, you know, you've got Leopold, pretty much all the Vermillions, you know, maybe they're going to be the next source and next focus of character development in the following sagas. That'd be absolutely brilliant because we all love them. They're all relatively new. Not many of them are that fleshed out. I mean, Leopold, my guy, needs some love at some point, you know, there's been heavy foreshadowing that Leopold's going to get something in the future so i can't wait to see what what all that's gonna be but i'd like to know what you guys make of all that like what what focus do you reckon we're gonna get character development wise in the next sagas i mean obviously noel finn all the black balls are not gonna get ignored i don't mean they're gonna be sidelined they're still gonna get stuff but who's it gonna be what do you reckon is gonna be the next adventure for the black balls in the next saga i mean i know i'm jumping jumping a bit too much already talking about the next saga but I'm just that hyped to see in what direction this, this story goes. I just can't wait to see more of Fugelion and Mariona's uh, sibling rivalry slash relationship. Can't wait to see what characters are going to start getting attention now in the future. Leopold, please. Mimosa, you know, all these uh, characters. You know, we've got Kaiser as well now. The other guilds, all that type of stuff. And just Black Clover in general, really. Can't wait to see more but honestly guys fantastic chapter i'm next week you know what this chapter was fantastic but next week it's gonna be better i've just got i've just got a raw feeling that next week's gonna be absolutely fantastic so i can't wait to see more and uh, i hope you guys enjoyed the video leave a like on it if you did enjoy subscribe if you're not already to become a member of the senpai squad and i will be seeing you guys in another video but until then peace